Hey folks, Kristen for Guns.com. Today we're talking about rimfire pistols, and there's few that have been around longer and age more gracefully than the Browning Buckmark. Now almost 40 years old, that sprang of the old Browning Challenger design that was built of heavy steel, but what they did is go through a redesign that lent a more modernized, much lighter weight, aircraft grade aluminum frame rimfire repeater. And the redesign means there's a minimalized slide and the proven striker fired blowback action. Instead of a single side opening as the ejection port on the Challenger, it's now open all the way through, which theoretically decreases the trapped carbon fouling and leading to a cleaner firing, cleaner running pistol. We do so much of our shooting from the bench, sometimes it's time to get up off that table, get up off that rest, and do some shooting offhand like we oftentimes find ourselves doing in the field. And the Buckmark is just a nice, lightweight, easy shooting companion to practice that offhand shooting. So I've got my paper out here at 20 yards. Let's give it a try. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm not an excellent hand gunner, but I'm happy with that group at 20 yards. And you know what, with a little practice, I think I can tighten that up. And that's just using Browning's iron sights. All those design changes that make the buck mark a success, however, would be moot if the rimfire didn't shoot and shoot well and reliably. The Buckmark quickly proved its capability to cycle all types of ammo. The Buckmark feeds from the 10 round detachable magazine. It's a single stack that feeds very easily. You have the slider down the front of the magazine that allows you to take that spring tension off as you load, which allows for really easy loading. Instead of the release button sitting at the base of the grip frame on the earlier models like the Challenger and the Rugers, we now see the side of the grip mounted quick magazine release where we can hit that button and the magazine drops free and allows us to pop in another one. The buckmark that we're shooting today that you see on the range comes from the guns.com vault and this is a testament to the level of customization allowable on the platform. The previous owners swapped out the heavy 4 inch factory bull barrel for a lightweight tactical solutions fluted one that now measures five and a half inches and makes the gun lighter weight. You'll also see there's a tandem cross halo charging ring that allows us a quick action on the slide and tandem cross pads on the base plate of the magazine. While those are all nice additions that can help you shoot better, maybe a little faster in some cases, I'll tell you what, they're nice, I like them a lot, but the gun functions just fine even without those. Counting all the model variants over the previous 37 years and still counting is almost impossible. But the point is that the Buckmark has been around long enough in a wide enough variety of grades, models, and variants that there's literally a choice for everyone. For hunters, shooters, plinkers, serious target guys, and even silhouette shooters, there's a Buckmark that suits your needs. The Buckmark has that attractive brown and gold plated trigger. It has the nice aggressive G10 grips which offer good purchase in the hand. It fits my hand well and I think it fits larger hands well too. A lot of larger fellows like to shoot those on the range. The controls are easy to manipulate, especially for a right hander. It's just overall a well balanced, nice fitting, light recoiling and accurate rimfire pistol. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thanks so much for joining us today for looking at the Browning Buckmark. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And if you're in the market, check out the Guns.com vault for new and used guns like this one. You never know what you might find. I'll see you next time.